Hi, and welcome to the next video from our Lakes and Lada hosting tour. Our base on the lake section was Le Mans Sagarda on the beautiful Lake Garda. Why not subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future travels? Lake Garda is in the north of Italy, and Le Mans Sagarda is in the northwest of the lake, in the Brescia province within the Lombardy region of Italy. Your nearest international airport will be Verona, which is around 60 miles or 90 kilometers from Le Mans Sagarda. But we drove, and this was our first view of Lake Garda. In a later video, I'll cover your options for driving from the UK, as well as a lap around Lake Garda. It can be slow going at times, but at least you've got a wonderful view. And there are sections where you feel like you're in the movies. Do you know what movie started with the roads around Lake Garda? safely at our accommodation, the Casa Alberto Sessorio, parked up the car and checked out the view from the balcony of our room. There was a haze over the lake but you have to admit this was pretty impressive. Enough of the views, let's go and discover the town. As you would expect, there's the usual mix of gift shops, gelaterias, bars and restaurants. Then there's the beautiful little cobbled lanes, the quiet back streets that lead you down to the lake's edge. As we arrived at the lake, it was clear that the mainstay of the town was now tourism. But that's okay, that's why we were here. It's still possible to sit down and admire the beauty of the lake free of charge. After taking in the view for a while, we decided to stroll along and found the marina. Although after driving 500 miles, I decided we deserved some refreshments and could just watch the world go by. But after the briefest of pit stops, we decided to explore some more. One thing we discovered, rather unsurprisingly, was this town was obsessed with lemons. So it only seems fitting that we check out the Lemon Grove Museum. And you're not going to get that in Italian. I don't wish to offend anyone. Now it's true, it is a climb to get to the museum, but if a chunky 50 year old individual can make it, then I'm sure you can. And it does offer some stunning views over the town and lake. The museum gives you the history of lemon growing in the region, as well as being planted out with a large variety of different citrus fruits, including those beautiful Italian lemons with the oh so thick skin. So after a touch of history and culture, we return to the town to explore a little more. We discover its old harbour and a quainter end to the town.
It's hard to think that until 1932 this town was only accessible via a steep mountain road and by water. So it's time for another break and a chance to enjoy the local speciality, Limoncello Spritz. So similar to an Aperol Spritz, but you guessed it, with a large hint of lemon. So while enjoying this view, let's talk about cost. Those drinks were around about five euros each. We enjoyed pasta and pizza overlooking the lake for around eight to 10 euros per head, plus a bottle of wine. We spent more on another meal, but that was our choice. So all in all, it doesn't cost a fortune to enjoy this, so why not? Oh, and the accommodation. Just over 100 euros per night with free parking, excellent Wi-Fi and including a really nice breakfast. Check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and we hope you found it useful. Why not subscribe so you don't miss any of our future travels and give us a big thumbs up or just leave us a comment. Thanks again.